Hey everyone and welcome to Weight Loss Wednesday. I'm Chef AJ, the author of the 10th anniversary of Unprocessed, Own Your Health and the Secrets to Ultimate Weight Loss. And this is where I show you recipes for healthy, permanent and sustainable weight loss. So ever since I got my Ninja Creamy, I have not stopped. I love this machine. I've used it every day, sometimes twice a day since I got it. And it's just the best machine for making creamy and scoopable ice creams. I have all the other machines you guys say make the same product, I'm telling you. Not in two minutes and 17 seconds, and not with one ingredient like this. It's so easy and it's so delicious. I prefer one ingredient spins. It's called spinning. I'm too lazy to make a recipe for chocolate or vanilla or pistachio. If you want those, my friend Kathy Esther has a book and a course. I'm a one trick pony. I'm like, open up one thing, put it in, and have some sorbet, because that's actually what I prefer anyway. So I showed you how to make pineapple, which I thought was my favorite until I tried pear. So I just like to use canned or jarred. I just think it's always consistent, always tastes good. If you don't like what's in the can or the jar, it's not gonna magically taste delicious once you turn it into sorbet. I did not care for the canned mandarin oranges or the canned mango. It was not, it didn't taste good to me, so I don't spin those anymore but I do love the pear and you can get organic pears in cans at Sprouts you can get conventional at just about every store Rayleigh's and Winco very affordable I and mean, you could eat the whole thing for breakfast less than 200 calories this is pineapple in a jar but I have seen pears in jars at Trader Joe's and at other stores so your creamy will come with anywhere between one and several of these pints you can always buy more just about anywhere where creamy products are sold. And all you do is you wanna make sure this line, which is called the fill line, you just don't wanna go past the maximum fill line. And so I will just take the conventional because I'm not afraid to eat conventional pears. I don't think they're on the dirty dozen. You just open it up and you put it in. And then I just like to take my little knife and just I mean, you, I guess you could do this in a blender, but the thing is, if you do it in a blender, then you're gonna be dirtying your blender. And then what's the point of this machine? So I just kind of cut it up. Now, you never wanna go past the fill line, but it's okay if you don't go up to the fill line. If you want to make sure you're going up to the fill line, you can just put a few tablespoons. I wouldn't use water. I would either use more unsweetened pear juice or just a little bit of your favorite non-dairy milk. Sometimes I do that, sometimes I don't. So you just do this. Or if you have like a potato masher, you could do that as well. And again, uh, you know, if you're somebody that doesn't mind consuming sh sugar or corn syrup, you can get these in heavy syrup, but I always look for the ones that are either in white grape juice or in unsweetened pear juice, and you can find them pretty much at any store. So that's good enough. And so then you just cover it. You want to make sure when it's in the freezer, it's level because it, it won't spin if it's not level. So you put that in your freezer for 24 hours. Actually, I found you can actually do it for less than 24 hours. Everybody's freezer is different. Very easy machine to use. There's so few parts. There's the base, which is actually very lightweight. There's the thing you spin in. There's the pint, of course, and there's the top. With the blade, it's very easy to insert. You just hold this little lever thing and the blade will pop right in like that. It should move, very good. And then you take your pint that you got out of the freezer, take the top off. Mine is level. If it's not level, Kathy Hester says to just kind of scrape it like granita on the top to make it level. There was no hump on this one, but that's how you'd scrape it. Mm. And then you lick your spoon. You put it in so that it won't wiggle. You know if it's in wrong, if it wiggles. Once it doesn't wiggle, it's in correctly, and then you put the top on, you hear the click, you can turn the machine on, and then you turn it towards you, or to and then when you hear the click, you're ready to go. So I am gonna spin it on sorbet. This takes about two minutes and 17 seconds. So when it slows down, it will eventually stop, and then you just release this button right here and then it comes right off, and then you open the top. Now, if you think it's powdery, and I don't really think this one is, but let's say you do, maybe, oh, it's a little bit too powdery, this isn't smooth, no big deal. Here's all you do, put the top back on, and push this button called respin.
I find that respin fixes everything. Oh, that is perfect now. Now, if you did mix-ins, you put them in that hole, but I never do mix-ins like chocolate chips or nuts or what people do. But now you see you got perfectly creamy, scoopable. Oh, look at this texture. Wow, that is perfect. So I'm a purist. I usually just eat it like this. Sometimes I put a little fresh fruit for color, like maybe raspberries or strawberries. If I'm feeling particularly decadent, I'll do a little drizzle of a California balsamic in a fruit flavor like pear or blackberry. But this is so good. And what, let me tell you something. None of the other machines, oh, look at this. Mm. It tastes just like pear. What's really cool is that I really I don't feel like eating this right now, but so what I can do, I put it back in, I level it off. You can't do this with uh, ice cream that you've made in the Vitamix or the Yonanas. Put it back in your freezer. As long as I level it off, guess what? I can respin it another time. You can respin as long as it has at least about you know, half or up to a third, you can respin. And that is one of the biggest beauties of this machine. All I have to do is put the top back on until I'm ready to eat it. Mmm, delicious. I'm not an expert in this machine. I'm a one trick pony. I dump something in. The true expert of this machine is the Ninja Creamy Wizard, Kathy Hester. She teaches courses and has books for this machine if you want to do something more complicated. But if you want it super easy, take your favorite kind of fruit, put it in, smush it, freeze it, spin it. Thanks so much for watching another episode of Weight Loss Wednesday. I'm Chef AJ, and I truly believe you can have the health and the body you so richly deserve. And now you don't have to desert dessert. Take care.